So I decided to uh, plug in my PlayStation 3 to my OLED and let's see just how original classic PlayStation 1 game from 1998 Metal Gear Solid would look on the OLED. And man, it did not disappoint. You see, this is what you get when you have that picture, pure black digital levels. When you have that black canvas, when you have that stunning contrast ratio that all it produces on their panels. You know, it's impossible really for you to see this kind of uh, picture level detail on the uh, LCD television. Guys, uh, you're just not going to see it. It's impossible for the LCD to achieve what the OLED is doing. Okay, it doesn't matter how many local dimmings you're trying to squeeze in there to achieve that contrast ratio. You will never achieve that contrast ratio the way the OLED is achieving that contrast ratio. That's just a fact, guys. Uh, and here I am. I mean, this is this is why you have OLED. So all of your content can look great on it. And here I am. This is a PlayStation 1 game. And you're going to say, well, how are you playing your PlayStation 1 game? Well, I have my PlayStation 3. It's right there. It's right over there. See that lamp? There's my PlayStation 3 right there. That's my PlayStation 3. And look at it, dude. It just looks... Wow. Wow. Yes, I'm using a full screen. I did stretch it out a little bit. That's what I chose. Uh, you have that option on PlayStation 3. When you're playing a PlayStation uh, 1 game, you do have that option. But man, this is the original game, okay? This is the original game, okay? And uh, I'm just blown away by um, how beautiful this looks on the OLED, honestly. And for those of you who do wonder, yes, I do have Metal Gear Solid. There it is. I have it. I have all of the uh, PlayStation uh, 1, 2, and 3 games. I have some of them, in case you guys are wondering. But I also have the uh, Metal Gear collection as well. They're right over here. And I'm using my PlayStation 3. There's the PlayStation 3 right there. This is the original PlayStation 3. In 2006, this thing supports PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, backward compatible games. It's like having PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 inside a PlayStation 3 console. So technically, I own all of the PlayStations. So yeah, this looks pretty darn good, man. Uh, this is the original game, guys. There's no enhancements. There's none of that nonsense. What you see here, it's exactly what you get. Like I said, I am using a little accolade from PlayStation 3, where I'm using the full screen instead of the uh, the original ratio. But it still looks pretty good. It still looks pretty good. There's Liquid Snake. You know, I think I'm going to play this game again on the OLED like this. I mean, this is pretty darn good, man. This looks pretty darn good. Now you understand why you need to have OLED. Now you understand that. Hold on. It looks beautiful, man. Look at it. Look at the black digital levels and look at the text. Look how beautiful that looks. By the way, this video is going to be in 4K, but it's going to take a little while for the YouTube to process this video. Okay, guys, you have to remember something. I have no control over how long it takes for YouTube to process the video. This is up to YouTube. 
they're the ones to process the video, not me. And I, I, another thing I want to say, guys. Um. Uh, I had to go and skip this and go on the elevator because I can't talk and play at the same time, guys. Um, look, I want to say a couple of things. One thing I want to say is that everybody's asking me about the OLED and the uh, the QLED and the LCD versus the OLED. Guys, if you want to have beautiful state-of-the-art contrast ratio on your television with picture-perfect, pure, black digital levels. But well, guess what? Well, guess what? The OLED, it's that only TV that's going to do that for you. All right? That's just the way it is. That's just a fact. If you want the best viewing angles, you need to go with the OLED. If you want... The pure, pitch black, deep, dark levels, you have to go with the OLED, guys. The LCD cannot achieve that. That should be clear by now. That the LCD cannot and will never, ever be able to achieve that. I don't care how many local dimming zones you put. Look at these uh, uh, black digital levels, man. There's no way in hell that your LCD will ever be able to achieve that. And this is coming from somebody who has all these televisions. I mean, I don't know how many times I told you that. Yes, I still have my QLED. It's still there. There it is. It's still there. I didn't sell it. I still have it. Okay, so I know the difference between these televisions when I see it. And, I, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I want you to see that even your old games will look good on the OLED. Even your old games like this one will look awesome on the OLED. And that's the caveat. That's the benefit of having a OLED. Okay? That's the benefit you're getting. Man, I have to... This game, it's timeless. You know, Hideo Kojima really is James Cameron of video games. And Avatar is the best movie ever created. I don't care what anybody says, okay? I saw that movie so many times. Avatar, it's state-of-the-art, man. Sorry, Endgame. Endgame and Avengers can kiss my ass. Avatar, to me, is the groundbreaking best movie ever made. Okay? Well, there you have it, guys. I figure I do this video really quick. Talk about the uh, just how beautiful uh, Metal Gear Solid One looks on the OLED, and this is full screen. I I use the I f I use the full screen. You know, you have the option to use the full screen on the PlayStation Three instead of that. You know, uh, to fit sixteen by nine. Basically, you have the option to fit sixteen by nine on the PlayStation 3 for your PlayStation 1 games. And it looks fantastic, man. There it is, man. Look at this. This is the original Metal Gear game. I mean, Jesus. 1998. I just, saw you, I just showed you the copy of the game in the PlayStation 3. Look at this, man. It looks fantastic. Yeah. I could easily play this game all over again. On I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it on the OLED, man. I'm going to replay it one day on the OLED. This looks fantastic, dude. Seriously. I have no complaints. Zero. None. Nada. Nothing. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, this video is in 4K. I hope you enjoy this. Trust me, when you see this in person... It looks much better on the OLED, okay? If you guys want me to give you the settings, I'll show you the settings tomorrow or today if I have a chance. Uh, doesn't matter really what settings you use. It still looks great on the OLED. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a good one, though.